Switching gears now, the city of Pawtucket is saying it's too late to save McCoy Stadium. This comes after a real estate tycoon drew attention this week by suggesting he wanted to fix up the ballpark. 12 News reporter Kate Wilkinson joins us now in studio with how the billionaire with Rhode Island ties is calling on residents to change the city's mind. Kate? Voters in Pawtucket already signed off on tearing down McCoy Stadium. Now Stefan Soliatviv is hoping to gain the support up to save it. A boarded up ticket window and vines growing along the edge of the building. This looks like the end of the line for McCoy Stadium. But in an interview Friday with WPRO's Tara Granaham, billionaire Stefan Solviev says he's willing to not only save McCoy, but also bring back baseball. Again, right now I'm told I can't buy the land, but the people of Rhode Island can have to do some groundwork here on a local level if they want this to happen. Solviev is the chair of the Solviev Group, which has its hands in residential and commercial real estate along with agriculture. Forbes estimates his net worth at $2.3 billion. While Solviev went to URI, what drew him to McCoy was his son Quinton, who knew about the Pawtucket Red Sox before they left for Worcester. I was kind of sad, like everybody else was, to hear about the plans with the stadium to go away, and I wanted to just document it one last time with my drone. But a spokesperson for Pawtucket Mayor Donald Grebian says buying the stadium now is, quote, off the table, because last November, Pawtucket voters approved a $330 million bond to demolish the stadium and build a new high school on the site. Grace Vol with the mayor's office says that Pawtucket leaders are open to talking about redevelopment opportunities in other parts of the city. But Solvi had said as of Friday morning, he still hadn't gone on the phone with the mayor. He must have been busy. I was busy. We tried a couple of times to reach out. I have not spoken to him. His office reached out to me last night. Solviev says that if he can make this happen, he doesn't anticipate the new baseball team would be a triple A club like the Paw Sox, but he does think it would be profitable. We reached out to him for an on camera interview multiple times, but have not yet heard back. Live in the studio, Kate Wilkinson, 12 News.